Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's having a nice Sunday. Um, I had a very interesting thing happen this week, and I thought I would share with you guys because it's becoming um, a little more prominent. And as you guys know, I've been having a lot of odd um, direct messages like via social media. I had this person this week, which was quite interesting, so I thought I'd share with you guys. I think this may be a new scam going around. It's an old one, but it just may be reviving, shall we say. I had somebody post a rather long comment on uh, one of my general Instagram posts and I requested that they please direct message me so they didn't eat up so much space on some random comment. And it was basically the person claimed that they were they worked for um, a banking organization. And what I did was I actually kind of thought it was a little strange so I looked up the name that the person used and it is a real financial institution. It seems to be a financial institution that is based in Europe. And I guess they do like investments and things of that nature for um, like global corporations and stuff. So the person sent me a direct message and they kept asking me to please send a email to a email address that they sent. And I thought that was a little strange. So what I did was, again, I did my homework and I started to look up the because they never mentioned the financial institution again. They just said that I work for a bank. My bank can't know, you know, contact me via this particular Outlook uh, account and I'll send you all the information that you need. So I kept interacting with the, with, the, with the messenger and I kept wondering what was up. So when they didn't mention the um, name of their bank or their employer, I, that's when I went ahead and I did the research and I looked up the bank and I did alert them and that's when I found out that they were the international um, investment firm, whatever they do, banking, global banking. So what I did was is I actually alerted them and I actually had a uh, email back the other day asking if I had sent any money because what the person basically wanted was they wanted you to email that particular Outlook address. And then they wanted, I guess, once you emailed them, then they would give you all the information. So what it is basically is they're trying to do, I guess, financial fraud again, or the money money laundering scheme where the person claimed that they were a banker and that an inheritance was left in there at their bank. But since they were a financial employee or an employee of that financial institution, they couldn't claim it. So what they wanted was they wanted me or someone else that said, sure, to go ahead and email them and then they would email you the details and you would go back and forth, I guess, until you, you claim that you were the person that could claim the money and then it went on from there. So what I did was, is again, I alerted the financial institution and they were very happy that I did. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that this may be a new scam going around or an old one that's being revived. Because again, we've had everything from people asking for iTunes gift cards, people asking for general gift cards for sick relatives and things like that. And it's just crazy. And I really do wish that Instagram would have a option to um, post for like an actual scam. Because they have, they give you the option to report a, um, a profile, but they don't let you, they don't let you report it for like scam, it gives you something simple like spam, or if you think that somebody's impersonating somebody. But that doesn't really help. I think they should really have one that you can actually say, I think it's a scam like other websites do. But I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. So have a good rest of your Sunday, everybody. Bye.